third in the women's 5k, um, new PB, 15.43, yeah. you pleased with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm really pleased, um, I was just coming out from Fontainebleau and we were hoping that I'd run about 15.30, yeah, that was kind of the aim, but obviously anything can happen um, on a race day, it's obviously very windy, yeah, um, not nice, and yeah. obviously I had to take the pace on, um, when it got a bit hard, obviously, but no, I'm really pleased with that I'm, it's a really good start for the season for me, so I'm really happy with that. Yeah, and um, what's it like having Joe Pavey in there going after the A? And yeah, of... well, you kind of have to let her go. Uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't, didn't want to die an awful death, so um, so the best thing to do is to hang back. And um, you know, I think uh, Amelia Greco took the pace for quite a few laps, which is obviously helpful, um, and she was consistent with the pace, so that was brilliant. Yeah. So kind of let pay. I think all of us. I kind of just let Pavey get on with her job and we tried to do ours. Mm, um, so where do you go from here now for this PB? Um, well, probably obviously to get some more 5Ks in, uh, get some uh, race sharpness in. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't raced for quite a long time now, I haven't raced except for a bushy park since uh, September. Wow. So, um, so it's a long time coming racing, so get a few races in now, get race fit and then look to the trials. England champs or not, or Watford? Uh, Probably Watford, but we haven't really discussed it, obviously okay. just coming back from Fontenot, you know, the aim was this race and then to go on from there. So. Brilliant. Well, well done today and Thanks good luck with the rest much. of the season. Thank you very much.